Hello, Mount Holyoke Psychology 201 students. Welcome to your pre-work tutorial for One Way ANOVA. This is your lab instructor, Natasha. In today's example, I wanted to investigate dorm experiences. So pretend I pulled students from three different dorms, Mead, Prospect, and Buckland, on their satisfaction with their dorm. Because I want to compare the means of three groups, I can run a One Way ANOVA. So to show you this small data set, uh, the dorm variable shows us which dorms each student pulled lived in, Buckland, Mead, or Prospect. And this is their satisfaction scale, a rating on a scale from one to seven, with one being uh, not satisfied at all, seven being the most satisfied. So how to do this? We're going to go to Analyze, down to Compare Means, and over to One Way ANOVA. Uh, in this example, the dependent variable is satisfaction. So we'll highlight satisfaction and bring that into the dependent list. The factor in this example is the dorm. So we'll bring that into the dorm window. Now we're going to click the options button. One thing we'll want to click is descriptive because this will give us um, the means of each of the dorm's um, satisfaction. And then We'll also want to click the homogeneity of variance test because this will let us know if we do need to use a post hoc, um, which post hoc would be appropriate. So now we're going to hit continue and then OK. So here's our output. Um, this first box gives us in the descriptives, it tells us uh, the number of students that were uh, polled about their satisfaction rating in each dorm. So 15 in Buckland and Mead and 14 in Prospect. Um, and it gives us the means and standard deviations of their satisfaction ratings for each dorm. Um, and then we also have the standard deviations, standard error, the confidence interval um, information, as well as the minimum score um, that a student rated for each dorm and a maximum score that they rated um, in each dorm. Um, this next table is the test of homogeneity of variances. So it's seeing whether the variances um, of the groups Buckland, Mead, and Prospect are similar to each other or whether there's some difference. Um, and we're going to look at this top row that says uh, based on mean. In this case, it is above 0 0.05, so we can say there is no significant difference between the variances of these three groups, which is what we're hoping for, so that's great. And now we can look at the ANOVA table itself. Um, and this gives us some information, including um, the between groups degrees of freedom, the within groups degrees of freedom. Um, it gives us our uh, F statistic, which is 5.267. And this is our p-value of 0 0.009. So because 0 0.009 is below 0 0.05, we can say that there is a significant difference in ratings of satisfaction between students who live in Buckland, Mead, and Prospect. But at this point, we don't know where the significant differences are. So we have to run a post hoc. So to do this, we're going to go back into our data file, just like we did go back to analyze, compare means, and over to one way ANOVA. Now we'll see it's already going to be set up the way we left it. We want to click the post hoc now. And it gives us different options based on whether equal variances are assumed or equal variances are not assumed. Had our Levine's test been below 0 0.05, we'd have to choose one of these equal variances not assumed. But because our Levine's test was um, above 0 0.05 and there was no significant difference in variances between the groups, we can choose from the, these selections. I'm going to choose the Bonferroni post hoc. It's a conservative post hoc. So we'll use that and click continue. And now again, we'll hit OK. So now in our output, we're going to have um, the same tables that we already had. Again, the descriptives with the means and standard deviations, the test of homogeneity, homogeneity of variances, and the ANOVA. But now we also have this post hoc table, and this is the Bonferroni post hoc. So you'll see here that some of this information, the way it's set up in SPSS output is a little bit um, repetitive. So um, we're actually only looking at the differences of three groups, um, three pairs, but um, it's repeated. So it looks like there's um, six things we're looking at. It's really only three just repeated in different ways. So let me show you what I mean. Um, this is looking at the difference between the satisfaction ratings in Buckland and Mead. And the difference, the mean difference is minus 
um, it is starred with an asterisk. This means that this uh, the difference between these two groups is significant at the 0 0.05 level. You can also go over to the SIG column and it gives you the exact p-value. Um, but when you have a lot of um, different groups that you're comparing, the reason why this asterisk is helpful is you can quickly scan to see where the significant differences are without having to look at every single p-value. Okay, so we know now that Buckland and Mead, the difference between them is significant. Um, and because in this case, um, Buckland is before Mead and it's a, a minus sign, we can say that Mead, those students in Mead reported um, significantly higher satisfaction than those in Buckland. Now you'll see that this same pair is repeated down here. So Mead and Buckland, again, this mean difference is the same. The reason that um, there's no negative sign in front of here is because it's just the order is switched. So it's saying I minus J. So this is the I column and this is the J column. Um, so it's it's the same statistic, it's just repeated. Um, so again, it's saying that Mead and Buckland have a significant difference. Um, then Buckland and Prospect, you can see that there's no star. So you can say there's no significant difference between satisfaction levels um, in Buckland and Prospect. And that again is uh, repeated down here, the prospect in Buckland. See, this is the same one. Um, and then the only other pair we haven't looked at yet is the difference between uh, meet and prospect. So meet and prospect is here on this row, the 1.061, which is a significant difference. Um, and prospect in meet is also this prospect in meet here. Again, it's the 1.061. And this is starred, this is a significant difference. Um, and you can see that the students who are in need are significantly more satisfied than those who live in prospect. So again, just overall, the first thing you'd want to say um, is that there is a significant difference between satisfaction levels in the different dorms based on this ANOVA. And then to go a step further, you'd say that students in Mead report being significantly more satisfied than students in Buckland and significantly more satisfied than students in Prospect. But there's no significant difference between um, in satisfaction levels between students who live in Buckland and Prospect. And that's how you would interpret the results. Um, so uh, just a full disclosure, uh, before I end this video, I did live in all three of these dorms when I went to Mount Holyoke as a student. So I may or may not have tweaked this example data to reflect my own experiences. Um, I will say living on the green was amazing. Okay, so uh, until next time, remember, don't be mean, be above average. <laughs>